the story are we going to have today? Well, Marty, you never know. It's one of my favourite days of the year, I have to say, the Munster final. The atmosphere in Turles since early today, I was around a few hours before the match. The crowd's unbelievable. There's not a spare place. At 2 o'clock today, there wasn't even a terrace ticket to be picked up. It's packed out here in Turles. An absolutely brilliant atmosphere. And look, at, I'm looking forward, as I do every year, but this young Waterford team, you know, the, to me, the team of the year so far, they won Division 1B, they went down and won the National League, they, they, they beat Cork, and they're fantastic. I think Derek McGrath is right there in his interview. I don't think they have a particular system. They just play uh, a hugely passionate, mobile, uh, physical game. The fantastic hurlers all over the team. And I'm looking forward to see how do tip try to break that down with the great players. They oh, what really matters is pride, honour and a provincial title. That still means so much. The journey begins now and ends around 5.30. The Munster Hurling Final 2015 is up and running. Tipperary playing from right to left and going to the attack immediately. Going back to tag to Barker, referee James Owens has blown his whistle and he's giving a free to Waterford. The conditions, by the way, here in Tipperary are absolutely beautiful. There's no sunshine, loads of clouds, little or no wind, and thanks be to God, no rain. Yeah, looking at Niall O'Mara, uh, has gone out to right half forward and Bonner O'Mara has gone in on the full forward line and Waterford setting up with no sweeper at the moment, they're playing 15 on 15. First free of the afternoon for Stephen O'Keefe. Tipperary under pressure. Somehow, Michael Brick Walsh got it out. Paris Kevin Warren, the captain. Is he going to lead by example with the first score? Not quite. But it wasn't that far away. Yeah, and Stephen Bennett at right corner forward. Um, at Marta Shannon at full forward. And uh, I see Eddie Barrett gone in at centre half forward. Quick puck out. In down towards Patrick Bonnermar. Waterford deal with the first real Tipperary attack and the Dacia man going to the attack themselves. Hitting it lot, hitting it right and wide. Yeah, and I suppose, Marty, that's one of the criticisms of the system. Uh, when, you know, long range shooting like that, really no score on, but there was nobody inside. Everyone had moved outside the 45 metre line and no one to aim for inside. Quick puck out first, Cahill Barrett. Comes down for his Nile O'Mara, who's in the right half forward position and from way out the field. Tipperary are up and running in this Munster final. Yeah, Martin, that's the way Tipperary wanted to play. You saw a quick puck out of Calvert, a brilliant 50 yard ball up the wing to Nile O'Mara and straight over the bar. Great score. Michael Brick Walsh coming in to challenge. Just not getting it up into the hurl is Eddie Barrett. It's still there. Corrie Maher comes across to deal with it. First forward. Eamon O'Shea is looking for a free along the sideline, off camera. Meanwhile, it's Colin Dumford that comes away with it, loses possession. Referee has blown his whistle. Over carry. Yeah, and serious intensity here by both teams. Great tackling. Uh, we saw Parik Maher couldn't burst out there, and then eventually Jake Dillon did a lovely backhand pass there, but he was the judge to have overcarried. Corrig Maher switching it over to the far over side. There's Waterford. Gain a little bit of momentum, ball in towards the corner, but it's no bother for James Barry or indeed Morris Shanahan. None of them will reach it. Sideline ball for Tipperary. Kieran Bergen going to take this. Want me to go back a bit? Sure. Chasing after this is Jason Fort. Being pursued by Philip Mahoney. Fort dropping it in. This is going to be interesting. No free given for Seamus Callanan, who had one eye on the referee. Michael Watch. Pumping it into the corner, coming across his body, Marr. Chasing after it is Jake Dillon, but the sideline... On the other side of the field, Ty de Burke, Tyde Burke as usual, taking up the sweeper roll now. It's good sideline ball as well. Nipping in is James Woodlock. Stepping away from the challenge, and he loves to look, run at opposing defences. They've caught up with him here. Tries to squeeze it out, Ferris Bonner Marr. Referee felt Waterford were fouling. So it's a free, dead straight in front of the posts. Yeah, I have to say, I didn't see a whole lot there, Marty. I think for, uh, James Woodlock very... Should be a relatively easy free for 
Seamus Callanan. Made his championship debut back in 2008 against Cork. Man who scored two goals and five points against Limerick. One umpire telling the other umpire to wave the flag, which he did eventually. Puck out from Stephen O'Keefe. Colin Dumford underneath it, doesn't hold on to it. Somehow Bonnermar kept it in play. Pulled on first time by Austin Gleeson. And it's a really good pull that puts the Tipperary defence under pressure. Potty Maher is there. He has plenty of support. Potty looks to his left. On his left shoulder, there's nobody willing to run at speed. Was the Tipperary man foul there? Tipperary fans thought so. Brick Walsh is around the middle of the field, flicks it forward. Available and unmarked at the moment is Colin Dumford. And away he goes. Can he score from there? Will it squeeze inside the post? The umpires think it is. Good score, Colin Dumford. But it was pretty close. It was, Marty, but I think we saw both teams there the way they're, they're setting up today. Cardi Maher, first of all, picking up a ball back in his own full back line. Not a great clearance. I think there might have been a foul in Tipperary. And then uh, Brick Walsh, short pass, another ball onto Colin Dunford off the shoulder. And that's the way Waterford are going to try to get their scores. So great passage to play there from both teams. Puck out from Darren Gleeson. Bravely going in is Kevin Moran. This is Shane McGrath. Ball on the hinch and North Tipperary, good ball across, easily dealt with is tied to Burka. Ronan Marr laying it off quickly. As Tipperary with that great diagonal ball from Jason Ford opens up the Tipperary, the water for defence, and that is over the bar. Nyla Mara with his second point of the match. Oh, great. Great play there by Tipperary. A lovely little hand pass from Kieran Bergen into Bubbles and division straight away to pick out Nyla Mara. And the uh, movement of the Tipperary forwards, very, very impressive. They're switching. The Waterford has done a hooter picking up and uh, a super score. Puck out from Stephen O'Keefe. Again, Porig Mar easily anticipates, reads it well. Knew he was going to be hooked. The hand pass is not a great one. In comes the captain. Kevin Moore trying to get away from the challenge. Shane McGrath chasing after him. And Paulie Maher. What a run. What a run by the captain. What about the finish? Great skill by Maher Shannon. Trying to flick it across. Tipperary defence exposed. The referee has blown his whistle. None of us actually heard it, but it's back on the 20 metre line. But oh, what an exhilarating run by the Waterford captain, Kevin Moore. Yeah, and ab absolutely. The pace of Kevin Moore there, you know, he left Tariq Maher and Shane McGrath in his wake. Uh, he obviously must have, I was watching him heading for the goal, I didn't see the foul, the referee obviously played the advantage rule there. And the noise here, Marty, it's hard to hear yourself, it's unbelievable, the, the uh, atmosphere down there, pitch side is unreal, and here's Morris Shannon now, with a nice free to start him off, it should be one that he needs to be able to put over. Parik Mahoney missing today, a huge loss for Waterford, but Morris has been doing very well under freeze in his absence. Well, he scored a goal and nine points in the semi-final, seven of them from freeze, 165. Younger brother, of course, of Dan the Man, who's now a selector. Moore Shanahan hits that gently over the crossbar for his first point in this Munster final. Quick puck out, Fares Ron and Marr. Younger brother of Farrick Marr at number six, stepping away as. The captain, Brendan Marr, no relation from Boris L.A. For so many seasons, we had Brendan Marr at number five, a really good defender, but he's been converted to the leader of the attack, and he's doing well. Well, there's a few hurlers like that in the game. They can play anywhere. Um, Ken McGrath comes to mind with Waterford in the backs, midfield, or in the forwards. Uh, that's an early yellow card. That's not good news for Colin Dumford after just nine minutes. Absolutely not, but but Brent, but again, we see Tipperary, the use of the sharp puck out and a very intelligent ball by Ronan Maher up the wing again to pick out Brendan on the move and uh, another easy free here now for Seamus Callum. Playing in his 32nd championship match today, Seamus Callanan. Just out the road in Drummondich. Second point to this Munster final. Now, Marty, I think Waterford have to play the zone in defence. They're following the runner. 
they're following the runner and leaving the space and the tip man is running into the space and Tipperary that's one up the left wing one up the right wing uh, that have created two easy scores for them and by our judgment call up here four scoring chances four points taken by Tipperary coming through the middle it's Jamie Barron bit of a mad scramble in the middle of the field good work here by Shane McGrath scoops it up gives it for Niall O'Mara who's now the architect rather than the finisher of this particular move Coming across is Kai de Burka. Referee. Here's a man who's playing in his second Munster final. Stephen O'Keefe from Ballygunner. Played in the 2012 final against Tipperary as well. Match they lost. Receiving two goals. Carl Bart. Shoulder is back on full power. Takes a little bit too much out of it despite the uh, wonderful feeling. The pass first, Colin Dunford is not a good one. Kieran Bergen is in there, scooping it up. He's the one with the yellow helmet there, number five. Michael Brick Walsh knocking off the hurl of Jason Ford. Coming forward is Michael Green, championship debutante, first for Edmar. And he puts out all the messing with a long ball. It's on these breaking balls that Tiberi looks so dangerous. Ball inside towards Seamus Callanan. Tony Underwire looks to be the man that's down injured and tied to Burka. Sweeps the slither from one end of the field to the other. What about that for some wonderful fielding by Parik Ma? Uses the stick to give it to the baby brother, Ronan. He steps into the midfield area, tries to chip it forward. Lovely, lovely wrist work by the bottom R. Into the D and over the bar. No messing about from Tipperary. But the skill, the wrist work was simply superb here, not alone from the Mars, all Mars in fact. All the Mars, the ball. actually Marty, I just noticed there, Kieran Bergen is wearing seven and Ronan Mars is wearing five. Both of them wear yellow helmets, they're very similar on the field, but I just know by the, the way they hurl and the way they're carrying themselves that they actually switch jerseys and uh, we obviously didn't get a... ...looking upon our Mars there, and that's what he does, he attacks the ball, heads straight down the middle and a great score. Long ball, all the way down, easily gathered by Corey Mark. Steps away, available over this side is uh, Kieran Bergen, and just about got there. We've seen him play at midfield so many times in the past. Nice chance here for John Bubbles Odoar. Didn't catch it the first time, but managed to get onto it, then turn. And shoot. Yeah, well, it, it's the half back line. Torek Matters is a sweeper, and the half back line, especially Kieran Bergen here out in front of us, are causing havoc playing that diagonal ball. And the temporary forward movement is, is killing Waterford at the moment. Sideline ball from Killinor. Not a great one. Shane McGrath battling with Eddie Barrett, Jake Dillon. James Woodlock is there, it's untidy to say the least. Referee watches closely as the players work themselves out of that muddle. Shane McGrath is available again to his midfield partner, James Woodlock. Looking, seeking, finding, perhaps, Seamus Callanan. The battle with himself and Barry Cotlin will be most interesting, as will Noel Connors and John Bubbles of the wire. Waterford. Go for that diagonal ball. Norris Shanahan having to work hard. Gathers has the chance perhaps to get away from, or at least give the ball away. Nicely picked up by James Barry. It's tough out there in the, between the 45 and 65 metre line. Coming away with it is the Waterford captain again, Kevin Moore, and he's stumbling as he drops this in it's an easy ball for the goalkeeper Darren Gleeson but the referee felt that Kevin Moran was fouled well yes. just watch it here again Kevin Moran runs at him maybe Park Maher's hand is up high he's going in to tackle him but uh, Marty Waterford are being killed there's nobody inside the 45 metre line we saw tip we saw Limerick the last time leaving Park Maher free you cannot leave a hurler of that ability free on a hurling field you need to push somebody on him even if you leave somebody else loose you can't leave one of the best players in Ireland free he will dominate this game if, if, if that continues second chance for more or less the same range a little bit further out for Morris Shanahan 
He's already scored once in this Munster final. That's his own unique style. Normally works, but not this time. It's Waterford's third wide of the match. Tuck out from Darren Gleeson. James Woodlock. Good work, very good work by Jake Dillon. Past Kevin Warren, was a bit of a hospital one, I'm afraid, but Warren did very well. Kevin Warren is bouncing into the air off camera as the slither flies between the posts. That's a really good quality point from along the sideline. Yeah, Marty, the leader of this team for the last number of years, and uh, that's a great score. Jake Dillon did very well, won a hard ball and flicked it out, but he still had a lot to do and a brilliant score from the sideline. Short puck out. James Barry gives it long. Coming across to Seamus Callanan. Umpire feels that that is a 65. Noel Connors just protesting there to the referee, but the umpire had no doubts. So it's an opportunity here for Tipperary to stretch their lead a little bit. First 65 of the afternoon for Seamus Callanan. Little or no breeze in Simple Stadium. Focuses, and here he comes. It's a good follow through. It was never in any doubt. Straight over the crossbar. Yeah, beautiful action, Marty. Beautiful strike, and uh, with that light slitter, 65 is only like a 40 yard free to this man. Puck out from Stephen O'Keefe. James Woodlock heading towards the 45. His peripheral vision allowed him to see that there was another man available. It happens to be Jason Ford. This ball is to the left and wide, and that's Tipperary's first wide of the match. We're coming after 18 minutes. Waterford using the hand pass efficiently, but then giving it away. And look who has it, who seems to be unmarked, as Michael Dagdon was pointing out a short time ago. Here's Kevin Moore in his own half of the field, lobbing it in. But again, Waterford seemed to be disorganized up front. There is no shape, there is no pattern. Darren Gleeson's pass was not a good one. In comes Stephen Bennett, what can Bennett do? He can kick it across the face of the goal. So close. Tipperary survive, but only by centimeters. Shane Fives is involved. Yeah, Mark. Stephen Bennett unlucky. He lost his hurl on the way in there. Uh, had no choice but to kick it. But, you know, we saw Parik Maher. If you watch it here, he's just going in along here. And he just loses his hurl here. Ends up trying to kick the ball just across the goal. He's very unlucky. And that came about, we were talking about Parik Maher dominating a brutal clear and straight out the middle to Kevin Moore, who's also playing as a kind of a free roll all around the half forward line midfield. Kevin Moore picked it up and uh, a bad a bad puck out from Darren Gleeson then followed. Yellow card for John Bubbles or the wire, who seems to pick up yellow cards quite frequently. This was Noel Connors going down on the ball here. Yeah, he flicked. He flicked in just as Noel Connors was catching the ball there. You know, even if he'd hit the ball, it was gone out over the sideline. So an unusual one. But Noel Connors up now and ready to go again. Austin Gleeson. Free for Waterford. He hit it powerfully. Hit it between the posts. Really good score. 
Yeah, huge expectation on this young player. We haven't seen much of him in the first 20 minutes, but that's a brilliant score and that'll help settle him into the game. Centre half back on the minor All Ireland winning team of two years ago. Ozzy, as they call him affectionately. Jason Fort, one of Tipperary's emerging under 21 stars. Spraying it across. Lovely hands. John bubbles on the wire, but this time it's gone to the right. Early days for him to get a yellow card as well, Michael. It is indeed, but I think, Marty, we're seeing both teams trying to impose their style on the game. Watford's tackling, their work rate is improving. You know, they're getting it hard to get their scores. Uh, Tipperary's movement, we saw Rona Marta again with the diagonal ball, and John O'Dwyer switching wings. So, look, the game begins to take on a pattern now in life of its own, and Tipperary on top at the moment. Dan Shanahan and the linesman disagreeing about the line ball. It's Kieran Bergen that's going to take this. Cuts it in well. And I have to say that Mike De Borka looks very sharp. It's a good ball as well. Down towards Mara Shanahan. He's looking at the pulse. He's giving it a lash. And he's bang on target. Sort of score that inspires colleagues. They begin to believe when that sort of point arrives on the scoreboard. That's quality. Absolutely, Martin. You mentioned Ty Burke impressive. He's hugely impressive. A brilliant catch. And then had the vision to look up and pick out Marishan. And he still had a lot to do. And a great score from the middle of the field. Corrig Mar gives it into the centre to Shane McGrath. But Waterford are beginning to find a purple patch. Jake Dillon. Again, Tony Marr is doing an awful lot of clearing up. But this time, under pressure, gives it away to Michael Brick Walsh, who is subsequently fouled. An unusual, uncharacteristic error by Paddy Ma. He was under pressure, but it was a giveaway. Yeah, well, that's two or three things uh, in the last few minutes. You can sense that here, Marty, that Waterford just begin to impose their game on Tipperary. Brendan Maher made a sloppy mistake, or not Brendan Maher, uh, Shane McGrath just before that. Now Tory Maher getting the yellow card. I think that's, be that's maybe for persistent foul, and that could be the third foul against them. And we just see maybe at the white from John O'Dwyer, the yellow card, a little bit of... You know, lack of discipline creeping into Tipperary over the last five minutes, and Waterford are right back in this game now. Here's Morris Shanahan. Should be a relatively easy point for him to take. Head straight in front of the post. White flag is raised. Seven points to six. I just saw there Dan Shanahan and the fourth official just having a quiet word. I think they understand each other now. Ball goes back. Gathering it up is Jamie Barron. Good work by Philip Mahoney. Tied to Burke again. Corrie Barr is playing very, very deep. Now almost behind his fullback back line. Here's Mara Shanahan. Come on, the 65. He has reacted. He knows. It's like a missile. Dead on target. And Waterford fans are indeed beginning to believe. Yeah, and coming from another very poor mistake. Rona Maher this time straight out to Morris. Super score from him, but another bad mistake by Tipperary. They've gifted Waterford now three or four points. Michael Green, to me, looks lost out in the middle of the field. He doesn't know what his role is. Rona Maher under pressure on that right wing. And Waterford... Uh, dominating here now for the last 10 minutes. Level for the first time in Simple Stadium. Barry Coughlin giving it back to Kai de Burka, who's clearing his lines every single time. In comes Stephen Bennett, working hard. So too is Kieran Bergen. Paddy Maher is there, into the middle of the field. Kevin Moran is going up for it. Instead, it's Niall O'Mara. Rather, uh, Brendan Maher, actually, the centre in for Seamus Callanan. Dangerous ball, and it just skids off the surface and out over the end line and wide. Yeah, I think, you know, you see Seamus Callan there when he got the ball. There was a little bit of panic. He was expecting the second man to close in. He actually had way more time than he than he uh, thought he had, and he snapped at that and put it wide, and uh, Waterford putting the pressure on again there. Well, Shannon got a touch to it. When it comes to Jason Ford, delivers it long. Seamus Callan quite can't control it. Harry Cochran is 
tussling on the ground. In comes Patrick Bonnermark. Referee has blown his whistle. This is going to be a throw ball just on the edge of the D. And he backs, giving it back to Kai de Burke, who has the composure to see that Colin Dunford is available. Referee says play on. Dangerous ball again. This time it's Stephen Bennett who's becoming more prominent. Slipping and sliding, losing his footing. Kieran Bergen comes in. Keeps the pressure off Tipperary by going long. Good hands here from Nilo Mara. Cutting in, aiming again at Seamus Callanan. Breaking ball. Tied to Borges there again. That way is blocked. Looking for his goalkeeper. He's twisting and turning. Loses possession. The goalkeeper thought about coming out. Instead, it's Philip Mann. And it's going back to clear it. And the ball is white. Or at least it should be. Plenty of passion, plenty of hard work on display. Yeah, well, I think it's fascinating, Marty, the, the way the two systems now, Waterford getting into their rhythm, they're, they're now picking up all the breaking ball uh, that they were losing in the first 10 or 15 minutes, uh, particularly the first 15 minutes, and Tipperary running out of ideas now up front, and Waterford putting them under far more pressure than they were earlier in the game. Here they go again, Waterford. It's a long time indeed since Tipperary scored. 17th minute or thereabouts. Noel Connors giving it over for as Jake Dillon from the De La Salle club. Same club as his manager, Colin Dumford, under pressure from James Woodlock. The referee has blown his whistle and he's given a free to Tipperary. When we watch here. Very hard to see, very hard to see anything there. Uh, I think there was a couple of frees there, or I, th I thought a couple of frees earlier there. Ron Maher tackled a bit high there on Jake Dillon or on Colin Dunford before that. The free wasn't given. The Waterford crowd not happy with that decision. Free to not uh, injured with for a while. And this is John O'Dwyer. Dropping it over Stephen O'Keefe, Scott Spot. Well, Marty, whether it was a free or not, that is an unbelievable strike. Uh, the water crowd booing here, they're not happy at all with that decision. And in a tight game, you know, that could be a crucial one later on. Batted away, straight out over the sideline. Kieran Bergen, so it's a sideline ball for Waterford. Dan Shanahan holds the flag and gives instructions to his captain. Austin Gleason, it is that drives it in, but it's gone wide. Almost a half an hour played. And Own Puckouts 1, Tipperary 9 out of 10, Waterford 5 out of 12. Yeah, very much in Tipperary's favour, but they are taking the short one, so very hard. I think Waterford happy enough to let Tip get possession there um, and try to close him down up the field, as we see from that one. This is Eddie Barris. Laying it off quickly. Going for the score. From where? Out the field. My word, what a score! A Shane fives the right corner back. There was that moment where we all drew breath and said, No, it's not going to go all the way, but it is. Well, that's the way they play. He had no real option inside, and he just said, I'll have a go, and over it went. Great score. Sides level for the second time. Running at the Tipperary midfield area. John of the wire is there. Linesman says it is a Waterford. This is a temporary ball. Waterford protest, but to no avail. 